She says, please don't end up like me. And because I am the daughter she thinks is still a teenager, I always want to disagree and say, sorry, it's too late. She says, please don't grow up to be like me. And because I am the daughter she thinks still listens to her, I always say, don't worry. Because she keeps her ego shrink-wrapped in a box of combustible cat hair to allow room for mine to grow. She keeps her passion where her mind is, where she can't ever lose it, to justify anything her heart tells her to. Because at our house, there's always baby rabbits being born at 6 in the evening, then 8 p.m. straight cat feeding, 11 p.m. last minute algebra tutoring, 2 a.m. post-nightmare trauma counseling, and always at 6 in the morning, three children needing freshly squeezed orange juice. She taught me how to use my middle finger to its fullest potential. Monday, rush hour, 1995, late again for school. Step one, make sure the asshole sees you. Step two, slam on the accelerator so he can't get you. She was never one for holding anything in. Her tongue is a matchstick and I am a tinderbox. She strikes once and I combust. I hear her whisper and turn to jelly. I hear her shout and turn to stone. I feel her hand on my back and remember. I feel her hand on my back and turn human again. She tears me up from the inside and makes collages of what she finds, every rip so carefully done. She is the abstract artist with no use for explanations. She is a scientist with no use for reason. She could have been a microbiologist but found a higher calling. Some say it had to do with catching small children falling, something about being hands for someone to run into each day after school. And just because the world can't name it doesn't mean it's not true. Just because she never got paid for 32 years of it doesn't mean it had no value. Because to call her life, not to call her life's work, work, would be an insult. She is the mid-January bonfire, raging and warm, a mix of Christmas trees and kindling. Get too close and she will burn you, but it could feel so amazing. We talk about once a week now to make sure the other is alive and well enough to fight over what's left of me because she doesn't really buy into my art or politics and I still don't really buy into her, you need a boyfriend but make sure he's rich kind of rhetoric. But as we hiss and we snarl over what we think to be true, I forget every time that what I really meant to say was, fuck it, I love you too. Because when she says, don't grow up to be like me, she means she gave it all up so you would have someone to come home to. When she says, don't plan on ending up like me, she means she gave it all up so you wouldn't have to. So I don't plan on growing up to be like her because she is unplanned. More like a glorious clash of knowledge and devotion, a mix of complex chemicals to create an explosion that can only be described as magical. So I don't plan on growing up to be like her. I can only hope to become half as incredible. Thank you. All right. Uh, so this here, I'm going to present...